There's something familiar about this episode of SAO. It's as if someone actually took the ingredients of Terminator 2, The Matrix, threw it into a blender with a couple dashes of anime. Yep, it's another crazy episode of Sword Art Online Alicization. Quinella might be a crazy psycho bitch, but she is awfully purdy, isn't she? This is another great episode of Sword Art Online Alicization, which pours on the action like syrup on pancakes. It also gives us the official backstory of the underworld and how it's being ruled by an oppressive ruler who is an AI who is actually quite aware of the world that she lives in. And she abuses that power to an incredible degree, harnessing the power of the soul as well as technology in one to become the effective god of the underworld. This was one hell of an info dump of an episode, but a very integral and important one, as not only does it get to show us the effect of these soldiers who lose their memories, but we actually get to see the mastermind behind all of it, and learning it is honestly pretty awesome. They also managed to introduce a new character in this episode who looks like she's going to be very important. She goes by the name of the Cardinal. She's basically a sage librarian who's also there to give us an assload of exposition. But let's just go ahead and break this episode down into its finer elements. The first half is a big battle against Eldry, who is an integrity knight who's pretty new, but still pretty badass altogether. Not only does he have the ability to fight, but he can even summon a Cobra Whip. And that's just pretty fucking cool. His battle with Yujio and Kirito is, of course, pretty awesome and very well animated, and ends in a way that I honestly didn't expect. I thought that Kirito was eventually just going to overcome him because that's what Kirito always ends up doing, but no, he ends up getting slashed across the chest, beaten brutally, and even having an arrow shot into his foot, which looks really freaking painful. But Yujio is the one who actually ends up being instrumental in taking Eldry down as he reminds him who he was before his mind was wiped. His original name was Eldry Wolsberg, and when he hear hears this, he starts to essentially just go insane and lose control with all of his memories flowing back into him. He is saved by this really badass-looking red knight flying on a dragon, who is the one responsible for firing an arrow right into Kirito's foot. As they start to run away from this guy, whose arrows, I swear to god, just make everything explode around him, which... I gotta admit, it's pretty freaking cool. They end up getting saved when they see this mysterious door open up in the garden. They decide to just jump right through, and that's where we're introduced to Cardinal, who is the sage librarian of this place which exists within the cathedral, but she only has access to. Essentially, it's like her very own special dimension. Cardinal is essentially a physical manifestation of the Cardinal system itself, but very much like Kirito, she is highly intelligent and is able to act outside the rules of these world. In fact, her overall origins seem to be tied to the ruler of this world as well, Quinella, and we get to learn all about that in this giant exposition dump and history lesson about how this world was created, when the people who actually created the underworld originally were people who dived in there and were seen as literal living gods. This is when they imposed the rule of the Taboo Index, and it wasn't until years later that one of these AI, who goes by the name of Quinella, eventually became the leader of this human race of people. How However, it was during this period that she actually learned how to manipulate this world and basically realized that she lived in a video game and that she could manipulate it with her extreme power. And at first, it seemed as if she had good intentions to make the world a better place. It wasn't until she became even more corrupt with power that we got to the darkest aspect of the story. She quite literally tried to fuse her very consciousness with the cardinal system itself and thus all of the rules of this world were implanted in her soul, basically transforming her into this super-powered godlike entity, which isn't even human anymore, which has but one directive. Bring order to everything. And it's also been twisted to the point where she has transformed the Axiom Church into this massive, almost Nazi-like organization, which looks out for the power of the humans, as well as trying to get rid of anything that could possibly change the current rules of this world. Quinella's comfortable, and she wants things to stay that way. 
The problem is there's now a real human in this world who's going to be a potential threat for her and her regime. And it's going to be really exciting to see how it's all going to play out. So what's the rundown on this episode of Sword Art Online Alisation? While the episode certainly has a lot of information constantly being thrown at you, it is surprisingly easy to follow as long as you don't overthink it all that much. I am really glad to see, though, that we're going to have something of a new type of villain for the series, one who's not just a typical rapist. I think it's something that a lot of fans in the series have complained about a lot, how nearly every villain in the show has just been the dude who just ends up casually trying to sexually assault a girl by the end of the season. It's cool to see sort of like a super corrupt and powerful AI who is a female villain. Quinella comes across as very cold and calculating and ultimately very scary, and that already makes her one of my favorite villains of the entire show. It's also pretty horrifying that there was an AI in this world, which effectively took complete and total control over all of it. I wonder if Raft is fully aware of this fact, or if they're simply just allowing her to do this in order to do a little more research on what could potentially happen with these living souls themselves. It was a pretty damn good episode, I have to admit. The battle with uh, Eldry wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, but it was still pretty damned exciting, and served as more of a springboard for getting to learn a little bit more about the truths of this world, which is something that they've been holding back on us for a little while, but I think it fully paid off in this episode right here. I think it goes without saying, too, like, technically speaking, that this is still a really great-looking show with fantastic character design and really great production value. It just never seems to stop. And Quinella's entire backstory was highly disturbing, very creepy, and uh, ultimately the best thing about this one right here for me. Which is why I'm going to give this episode, get ready for it, a 5 out of 5. That's right. Check it out, guys. If any of you guys have watched this episode, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below and what you hope to see from the future of Sword Art Online Alisation. Thank you guys for watching this review. I'll see you all next time. And as always, stay down now, baby.